Hey guys, so there's this company called Optera, and their goal is to make an electric vehicle that goes a thousand miles. You heard that right. An electric vehicle that goes a thousand miles. That's more than like a lot of gasoline cars with their gas capacity. This company is actually really promising with expectations of delivering their vehicles by next year. They already have actual prototypes that they can drive around. They've raised around $4 million, uh, both privately and publicly through fundings. And their vehicles might not even have to be plugged in to be charged. Let's get started. So Optera is actually a company that's been around for a really long time. They existed ever since 2006. So it's been a really long time. But now we're just hearing about them because they ran out of money sometimes in 2011, and now they're back. Their design has always been really aerodynamic. That's their whole point. It's not to build something that looks really great, although in my opinion, they do look very nice. Like Their vehicles also face the same problem as one of Tesla's. They can't really go that far without needing that big of a battery pack. And they tackled this by being so aerodynamic, the drag of their cars are around 1.1%. And that's drastically smaller than most other vehicles. It's 14 times more aerodynamic than a truck or over three times more aerodynamic than a standard car. And to maximize its range, it's also radically lighter and super efficient at using power. For example, Rivian, which is another electric vehicle company, uses 5% larger batteries than Aptera to go a quarter of its miles. So it's very impressive that Aptera has achieved this. Most vehicles on the road right now wastes around 65% of their energy just because of drag on highways. So Aptera eliminating 98.9% .9 of all aerodynamic drag allows them to be so much more efficient. So that already just eliminates two thirds of their energy wastes. And the other part is due to their weight. Aptera can only set two people inside it, so it's less like a car. Also, they don't say it's a car. They call it some sort of auto cycle, or it can be more closely defined as a motorcycle, though I would heavily advise against that. I don't see this as a motorcycle at all. But yeah, I guess it's closer to a motorcycle than to a car. And efficiency is important, because with a higher efficiency, you can go further. With a lower efficiency, you can't really go that far. There's this other company that makes like really expensive race cars and stuff that uses AI to design their vehicles, and that's how they're so aerodynamic. And Aptera actually uses AI as well. They use artificial intelligence to optimize the design of their parts for strength. By using the least amount of material, they can first maximize their weight reductions so it's as light as possible. And with AI, they can design a very strong frame with the least amount of material. All right, so that's cool and all. But what if you accidentally break your Aptera vehicle? What if it crashes? What if you hit a pothole since, you know, there's three wheels on it. If you didn't know that, yeah, there's three wheels on this car. Uh, two in the front and one in the back. If you see a pothole, you're probably most likely going to hit it. So what happens if you need repairs? Aptera will actually send out their own repair vehicles to you and repair it for you uh, I don't know about the pricing yet, but that's what they promise to do. And if they are too far away, they will actually just ship you the necessary parts in less than 24 hours. At least that's what they're promising, which I hope is correct because I reserved one of their vehicles and I'm really hoping that everything they're promising will happen. Or at least just even 80% of what they're promising uh, gets actually delivered. That would be amazing. One downside is that a child cannot ride in a Terra, so if you are hoping to drive your kid around in this, you can't, um, at least not in the first model. There are only two seats for adults and one pet seat inside the Terra vehicle right now. Their vision is to create efficient solar vehicles with more seats in the future though, so if you wait a few more years, there might be another model that allows you to sit uh, three or even four people. And that way you can see a child because uh, there's currently two seats in the front. And if you have a child there, it's very unsafe as you know, the airbags will just imply their faces and you know what happens then. So they're trying their best to eliminate this and they're trying to build one that sees more people in the future. And if is actually really fast considering that they're more closely tied to a motorcycle than to a car. Their vehicles can go faster than 100 miles per hour. It can go from zero to 60 miles per hour 
in their all-wheel drive vehicle in 3.5 seconds, I believe. And 3.5 seconds isn't that fast considering that it's an electric vehicle. But for most gasoline cars, it's really good. And also, it's not really a car. It has three wheels, so you can't really expect that much from the vehicle. Similar to Tesla, Atera is working to build a self-driving model as well. Although those capabilities will be released in stages, not all together. So don't expect full self-driving to be here anytime soon. If there are a lot of snow or ice in your area, you might want to go with the all-wheel drive model, which is only an extra $2,500. This actually is not absurd. Although you have to consider, you're only getting one extra wheel for all-wheel all drive, so is it worth that? Mm, who knows? A Terra handles beautifully, nice and snow according to them, and they are designing specifically for a lot of cold weather temperatures. In those areas, the all-wheel drive will really benefit the car. The Aptera will also have a full climate control system capable of down to negative 20 degrees and up to 125 degrees Fahrenheit. So that means it's actually really reasonable in cold temperatures. One interesting thing is that their motors are built inside their wheels. This is for better uh, weight reduction and for better aerodynamics. At least the two front wheels, uh, the motors are inside them. And it's not inside the vehicle with a rod coming out into the wheel, it's actually inside the wheel itself. I'm not sure if you hit a pothole, would it affect the motor's capabilities? The wheels inside the Aptera is actually exceptionally engineered. They provide a great ride experience, a sporty performance, and because there's only three wheels, one in the back, uh, turning actually feels a lot more speedy than a usual car. That might give you even more of a feeling of performance when you drive around the car. So this really is kind of a joy car. The standard motor package comes with a typical 16 inch rim. It's a bit smaller than a usual wheel, but I think that's fine considering this is a bit of a smaller car. And with an electric vehicle, you have to expect a regenerative braking. Uh, Aptera has that as well. So when you brake or when you stop pressing down on the pedal, the car will actually convert energy from uh, its momentum back into its battery packs. So that allows you to go a lot farther. But that also means creeping is turned off. So you cannot uh, creep. That sounds weird. So you cannot um, have your vehicle go forward without pressing on the pedal. Like most gasoline cars, they can go forward even without you pressing on the pedal, but that's not the case for electric vehicles. Aptera comes standard with a seven speaker audio system, so that should sound pretty good. But you can also upgrade it to have three extra channels for a greater sound depth. An additional lightweight transmission line subwoofer also brings accurate and deeper bass responses. On their website, you can actually see how many times you would have to charge up Terra. And this is, this is crazy because uh, it's really cool. So I live in Ontario in Canada, so I'm gonna choose six on the map. And I drive um, around uh, 30 miles per day. It's not that much, I know. But yeah, I drive around 30 miles. Let me just select that. And that means I would have to charge my vehicle with a cord 1.46 times every year. So that's less than two times a year. In optimum conditions, this is obviously not uh, accurate if there's a thunderstorm and there's thick clouds for a few days, of course, but this does mean like you have to plug it in a lot less and that eliminates one of the problems with electric vehicles. Now let's talk about configuring the car because that's actually really, really fun. I did already reserve one, but let me just go back to the reserve page. Here, you can see there's three models right now. There's the Paradigm, the, 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 the Paradigm, the, the, the what? Paradigm. There's the Paradigm, the Paradigm Plus, and you can design your own. So the Paradigm comes standard with a 400 mile range, and that's sold out now. The Paradigm Plus comes with a 1000 mile range, and that's also sold out. So now you can only custom design your own. Uh, that is pretty cool though. If you go to the custom page, you can see that first you can choose its range. The 200 mile version costs $25,900, and that's actually really reasonable for an, for an electric vehicle that goes 250 miles. Tesla's equivalent, their Model 3, costs I think $35,000 at least. This is $10,000 cheaper for the same mile range. And if you add an additional $4,000, you can upgrade to 400 miles if you're looking for an electric vehicle that seats two people. Uh, this is actually a really good deal. You can also add another $5,000 and that gets you a 600 mile range. And if you added an additional $10,000, which totals to $45,000,
you get 1,000 miles of range. But I chose the 250 mile range because, you know, I don't need to go that far and I'm broke, so that's why. Uh, also, <laughs> you can upgrade to all-wheel drive, that's why I did. I think all-wheel drive is pretty um, important for a vehicle, especially here in Canada where there's a lot of snow and ice. There are three interior color options that come standard, or you can customize it. So the sandy blues, the earth tones, and the bright coral. I don't really like the bright coral, so it really comes down to black versus white. I like the black version a bit more, so I chose the coast or sandy blues. Um, the white version is Earth Tones or Codex. You can also customize it again for $900. There are three exterior colors as well. There's black, silver, or white. I chose silver, um, and that is free as well. So all of the colors you can choose are free, except for the custom version. Like uh, for here, the external colors, you can spend an extra $1,500, and you can customize the colors. Every Aptera comes standard with a solar roof and that lets you charge your vehicle. That's how it really charges in the first place. But you can add an additional $300 to get yourself a solar hood as well. So on the hood, you get another few solar panels, and then you can add an additional $600, and that gets you a solar rear hatch. So on the rear hatch, you get uh, solar panels as well. And that allows your vehicle to charge an additional 18 miles every single day, or at least in an optimum day. And if you add all, so both the solar hood and the solar rear hatch, uh, that's $900, and you get 24 extra miles of recharged um, range every single day. So with standard, with the standard solar roof, you get 16 miles, and with everything combined, you get 40 miles every single day, which is more than most people drive every single day, so it means you don't have to plug in your vehicle. Also, there are Add-ons, currently there's only five. So there's the safety pilot, there's the enhanced audio, which is the one we've talked about earlier. There's also a camping kit and a off-road kit for you to go off-roading or camping. And finally, there's a pet kit, which is for your pet. Pretty self-explanatory. But yeah, so I chose a 250 mile version all-wheel drive uh, with black interior colors, silver exterior colors, and no solar upgrades. A reservation only costs $100 and it's refundable at any time. So this is great that if you want to um, back out of this, you can. And I just think the vehicle looks really unique. So I don't know if I would be keeping this vehicle or the Cybertruck as I've pre-ordered that as well. But yeah, this looks like a really great vehicle. And I think in the end, it would sell really well if it really does deliver with all of its specs. A few more niches that you might want to know about is that its cargo capacity is 25 cubic feet, and that's actually a lot bigger than I expected for its size as it only seats two people and it's not really that big. Its total length is only 172 inches and its total width is 88 inches. Its height is 57 inches, so it's not really that tall as well. The safety of this vehicle currently are not really established, but they have said that they they're using incredible materials like Kevlar and carbon fiber, so this should handle crashes pretty well. And also their design are like not only aerodynamic, but it also helps with impact. So this should be a pretty safe vehicle. Now this is really cool. So the exterior colors are actually three coating. For black, it's a satin black body with a black high gloss pillar, and then a roof added onto that. For the silver, it's actually an aluminum satin body, with a midnight high gloss pillar, and then a roof on top of that as well. And finally, for the white version, it's a white satin body with a black high gloss roof and some pillars on top. So this balance of the materials for the colors makes it really stand out. The interior colors are Vita, Coast, and Codex, and these aren't really that interesting. So don't expect much interesting interiors inside these cars. Its estimated delivery timing is around 2021, so it's actually much faster than you would think. Just next year, these vehicles would most likely be coming out, so I'm really excited to see mine. Inside the vehicle, there's also a 15-inch touchscreen, so that's the same size as the Tesla Model Y and Tesla Model 3 screens. And based on what Tesla's doing, I think this is good that they're taking notes from Tesla. And finally, some premium features that it has are interior and exterior colors that are customizable. It gives you enhanced audio of an extra three channels and a subwoofer. A safety pilot makes it easy to travel with 
Level 2 autonomy. Certainly, yeah, it's level 2, not level 3 or 4. Safety dividers and accessories also allow you to secure your pet while driving. There are also integrated tents and rear awning for camp adventures. I'm looking at you. And obviously, you can take a tower off-road with more ground clearance and tougher wheel covers. So that's about it for Atera. I think it looks very promising and I would really like to invest in the company once it goes public. So yeah, that's about it for this vehicle. How do you think about it? Please leave it in the comment section down below. And also, I have a personal website now, so if you want to check it out, you can see it in the description down below. That's it. Click on something on the screen right now and I'll see you guys next time.